Sewage is the waste water released by home industries factories. It is the liquid waste containing dissolved or suspended impurities, which are called contaminants. Why there is a need to treat the sewage? Because it contains the suspended or dissolved impurities or contaminants. So before this water enters to the water cycle or discharge into the lakes and seas, there is a need to remove the contaminants. So this water, sewage water is treated to remove the contaminants before it passes to a water cycle or discharge into the lakes and seas. During a process that is named as sewage water treatment. What are the main four stages of sewage water treatment? These are number one screening number two sedimentation number three digestion and number four filtering process screening in this process the screening equipment stops the larger objects like wood logs fragments sedimentation in this process the suspended particles or the impurities are allowed to settle at the bottom digestion in this process air is blown which help to grow bacteria that eat up the waste inside the sewage treatment and after passing three stages the fourth stage is the filtration process now the water that is named as clarified water is passed through the filters that is made up of different layers of sand, gravel or charcoal. This water has now low level contamination. Now it can be thrown into lakes and seas. What we have done in sewage water treatment, we have removed the maximum contamination or impurities from the sewage and this water is then discharged into the lakes and seas. What is the purpose? Why sewage is treated before it passes into a river? What is our basic purpose or aim? Is to remove the contaminants or pollutants from the sewage and then it is discharged into the lakes or different water bodies. We all humans depend on clean and safe water. Clean water that we put to use for drinking, cooking, washing and bathing. This water should be safe and clean. Is the drinking water that comes out of our tap pure? No. According to quality standard, fresh water can contain a variety of harmful substances and microorganisms. There is a need to remove these harmful substances and organisms before drinking. So what we do? There is a need to clean that water. So guess what is our today's topic? To make the water free from harmful substances and organism to make the water suitable for drinking purpose or to make it clean water. So what is clean water? Clean water is the water that is safe to drink or that is suitable for drinking purpose that we use in our kitchen for food preparation without risk of the health problems. Most of the people around the world now have access to safe water. We use this safe and clean water for drinking and food preparation. 
how we do this the commonly known method is the boiling like in a monsoon season we used to boil the water to kill the some unwanted and microorganisms which may cause the certain water borne diseases so clean water is the need or basic need of all human beings but unfortunately this clean water is not available in many part of the world or many humans they use the dirty water for drinking purpose or to fill to fulfill their needs this may lead to the various health problems and water borne diseases you can see in these pictures the use of water that is not safe water that is not clean water but they don't have the access to clean water so we have to clean the water to avoid the health problems or water borne diseases what are the water borne diseases these are some of these are cholera typhoid and jaundice why do we need to treat water there is a need to treat water to remove the impurities and to kill the microorganisms which cause serious health problem so these impurities can be grouped into three categories number 1 is the physical impurities or the physical material as the name shows these type of impurities or material change the appearance of the water if you have seen or collect the sample of water from river or the pond it appears greenish in color or it bluish sort of colors so these type of the impurities which give them the color is named as physical material they do not dissolve in water and make the water appears dirty chemical substances or chemical impurities are dissolved in water from both natural and man made processes maybe these are added from the uh, industrial discharge or factory discharge biological contamination or materials it include viruses bacteria algae and other small organism now the question is where these microorganisms enters or comes into the water bodies these are due to the contamination or the discharge of animal and plants waste which are thrown directly into the water bodies where uh, these animal uh, where these microorganisms are present and they produce some water borne diseases what these water borne diseases are can you name some of the water borne diseases yes you can these are cholera typhoid and and dysentery now <clears throat> let's see what treatment we do to make the water fit for drinking purpose that is named as water treatment water treatment is the process of making water suitable for desire and use such as drinking purpose so water treatment occur in a systematic process that is water treatment plant water treatment plant is used to make the water fit for drinking purpose so our today's objective is to make the water suitable for drinking purpose water in a river or lake is piped to the treatment plant how many steps involved during this process it has a following steps these are number one remover of larger objects it we have already done that is a screening process just like this screening process matter screen block object from entering the pipes second stage is addition of alums or adding alums a chemical what it do it attract the waste solid and forms the clumps like sticky material is there which attracts the dirt particle toward itself and join them together to form the solid material jelly like material then water and flock flock is name of this sticky clump which are formed of the dirt or the impurities now are settled at the bottom of the settling tank this process is name as settling filtering stage partially 
cleaned water from the top of the tank now moves through the sand charcoal filter to remove the remaining waste then uh, next stage is the chlorine addition of chlorine chlorine gas is added to kill the remaining microorganism at the end of these process the water we get is cleaned and safe water that can be delivered or transport to the homes let's see the water treatment process in this flow sheet diagram the raw water which we have to clean for drinking purpose is passed through a process that is named as coagulation process during coagulation we add alums and these alums attract the dirt particles towards itself and makes their clumps then flocculation is the process in which the jelly like material collects or attract the dirt and make it heavy so that it can settle at the bottom during the stage of sedimentation you can see here the dirt is collected at the bottom then after sedimentation the water is passed through the process of filtration it has different layers made up of sand gravel and charcoal which stops if small or fine particles are still present there and if unpleasant gas or odor is there then it will be absorbed here and the clean water then pass through the chamber that is named as din in this infection where the chlorine gas is passed or bubbled out to kill the bacteria or microorganism the water now discharged after this process is clean and safe water now where it goes it is supplied to the home now this water is named as the clean water it is free from the harmful substances and microorganism and fit for drinking purpose is named as now clean water and the process is named as water treatment to make the water suitable for drinking process for drinking purpose is named as the water treatment process now we will see all these stages individually in detail the first stage is named as coagulation the raw water or the water we have to treat is sent in a chamber that is named as coagulation in which alums and other chemicals are added which cause the small particles to clump together look at here these impurities are already present inside the water when we add coagulant these are the alums or double salt when we add these coagulant what they do they trap or attract these red color impurities towards them or make a clump these are named as flock these flock attract the dirt fluffy or jelly like substance is this the flock attracts the dirt particles and making them heavy so that they can sink to the bottom you can see here these all flocks now settled at the bottom so this is how in coagulation uh, in coagulation process the impurities which are trapped and settled at the bottom in sedimentation sedimentation now <clears throat> if small particles are suspended inside the water you can see in this water small particles are floating or suspended particle they need some time to settle at the bottom so gravity and time are all that is needed to remove the flock from the water the water and flock flow into a sedimentation basin these settling basins are 12 to 18 feet deep and hold the water for 2 to 4 hour how much time is required 2 to 4 hour that is journal time given according to the situation it can vary so the fine particles or the suspended particles settled at the bottom this is named as sedimentation then there is the filtration water passes through the layer of gravel sand or charcoal layer is there which serves as the filters 
and they filter out what they filter out the remaining particles which are present inside the water or suspended particles if still are there these are stopped by these filters what these filters are these are sand and gravel after filtration an important stage is there that is named as chemical disinfection or chlorination chemical disinfection different chemicals are used to kill the microorganisms like fluorine chlorine gas and ozone gas in most places fluoride is added to water reduce the tooth decay during disinfection disease causing organisms are destroyed are disabled by using the fluorides you have seen this on the toothpaste so fluorides are used as disinfection during the uh, water treatment process that can destroy or disable the disease causing organism chlorine gas is the most common disinfectant used in united state because it is practical effective and economical so this is most commonly used gas that is chlorine gas as disinfectant ozone gas is also used in some of the places let's see what is chlorination in this step the chlorine gas is passed or bubbled out through the water to kill the bacteria or unwanted microorganism this process is named as chlorination only the specific amount of chlorine is used excessive amount can be harmful uh, for this water or for uh, this water will not be suitable for drinking if chlorine amount is exceed from a level so chlorination is the process in which small amount of chlorine gas is used to kill any bacteria or microorganisms that may be in water and finally after passing through these all stages the water is named as clean water the treated water what this is named as treated water this treated water is safe and suitable for drinking purpose now this water is stored in the holding tanks you have seen in your cities or town where these are supplied to the homes and community so this is how the water is clean and now it is safe for drinking purpose let's review our all steps during water treatment coagulation sedimentation filtration and chemical disinfection we can show them in the simple flow sheet diagram untreated water is passes through a process of coagulation coagulation in which chemicals are added so that impurities can attract by the coagulant forming the larger particles or clump of bacteria and impurities comes together and form the solid mass that can be filtered out and after this sedimentation the flock particles get increasing larger and eventually settled at the bottom after this the process is filtration if still some impurities or suspensions are there these are passed through the different filters containing sand gravel charcoal which remove them or stop them and now the water is free from the suspensions and this is passed to an other chamber that is containing the disinfectant like chlorine gas ozone or some fluorides what happened here disease causing bacteria viruses parasites are destroyed here and then the water is named as treated water we have taken the start from untreated water and now the water is named as treated water it mean the water we obtain is clean water it is free from harmful bacteria and microorganism now it is suitable for drinking purpose uh, at the end you have to solve uh, the test yourself given on page number 81 the questions are question number 1 2 and 3 you have to submit the answer of question number 3 we will discuss all these questions by by one what is clean water clean water is the water that is fit for drinking purpose suitable for drinking purpose and do not have the health risk uh, you have to describe it in few lines what percentage of the world's population have the access to clean water most of the population have Access to clean water. 
but unfortunately unfortunately in some part of the world they don't have the access to clean water well, only the general question is there that what percentage of world's population so most of the population have the access to clean water question number 3 describe the possible uh, effects of drinking unclean water if we will uh, drink unclean water the first thing that comes in our mind that we may become ill so health problem related question is there so drinking unclean water will cause the some health problem or uh, water borne diseases are there so you have to describe this by your own save water save nature thank you students have a nice day allah hafiz